these beautiful beings my name is Sharice lovely from collective light and welcome back to more than asana this is episode two and i am so grateful if you are here watching this with me um, before we get started please if you are resonating with anything that i say today or you just want to hear more about the aspects of yoga that are outside of the physical practice please hit that subscribe button and maybe share the video with somebody that may get some gems from this video as well. So today I wanted to talk on a topic that came up recently for myself when I was talking to one of my students. She was sharing with me that she sometimes didn't feel very welcomed when discussing the practice of yoga and how it has benefited her life um, in the church space. And I just wanted to share this episode with you, my own perspectives when it comes to yoga and Christianity. I know this could be a topic that could be up for debate. So I just want to share my own experiences and I want to share my own perspective based off of what I've learned over the, uh, the years of practicing yoga that I have. Starting off with my um, way I've been raised, uh, my mother raised me as a Protestant Christian, and so I was pretty much living in the church <laughs> my whole childhood. I, uh, my mom worked in the church, and so I was always being given the lessons of Christianity through a Protestant perspective. And um, I also live in California, so it was a very um, open perspective. It was very welcoming. I um, definitely felt like I was a part of that church and a part of that family for a long time. And I also gained a lot of my morals and my values through that religion. I pretty much stick to a lot of those morals innately just because they were instilled in me at a very young age. And I also still resonate with so many of the things that I learned from the Christian church, uh, especially when it came to how we love other people in our lives. And I think that was a big emphasis on what I learned um, through my family is just how to serve, how to be of service to other people, and how to um, really just share your love with those around you no matter who they are no matter what walk of life they come from that you are here to live like christ and you're here to love other people the way that he loved his people and anybody that came into his space at that time and so i definitely firmly still hold on to that i still do my best to um, be as kind to anybody that i come across to be as understanding as i can be in that moment and I know that's not always um, completely possible. I know there's sometimes uh, communication that doesn't happen, misunderstandings, maybe just differences in perspectives, but I still uh, do my best to be out there in the world and share the love that I have because I know that love will always return back to me anyway. Um, and that's the best way that I have also connected with God in, over time. and. For another video, I may explain my entire um, shift in religious beliefs just because that also pertains to a lot of what yoga brought about to my beliefs at this time. But at that time, um, and even now, I still hold on to a lot of Christian values um, when it comes to how we treat each other and how we love um, God as well. One of my favorite things about growing up as a Christian was having that direct connection to God and understanding that there is a God out there or there is some higher power that is out there that created everything we see, that is connected to everything we see. And that was something that I genuinely appreciate about being from a Christian background is because I also have a very innate way of staying in faith regardless of what challenges are brought into my life and I also do believe a lot of that came from my mom's perspective but she grabbed that from her own core beliefs in being able to have faith in the things we cannot see and that was one of the biggest lessons that I hold on to in my life um, and I will continue to hold on to into the next life and the next life 
because faith is such a powerful energy and it's truly an amazing thing to be able to live in life and know that you are always loved and know that you are always taken care of even if it's um, not by a human being but it's by an energy that's greater than all human beings so I really stick to that and so when people come to me and share that they come from a Christian background and they want to practice yoga but they're being uh, treated a certain way or being told that it's demonic or that it's not godly or um, not really Christian practice to partake in. I honestly get very sad when I hear that because yoga has been one of the best practices that I've had in this physical life that has actually built my relationship with God, with Source, on a much higher level than I had ever had when I was in the Christian church. And although those values are instilled in me due to that religion, I still had so many different unanswered questions. I still had so many um, traditions that I saw in the church that I didn't really agree with or resonate with or really ever received a true answer on. And because of that, I began to practice yoga and let its, its natural way of um, finding that meditation and stillness to be my bridge or my avenue to reaching out more to source, reaching out more to God and understanding God even more. And like I had mentioned before, in the Christian church, we're taught to really serve and be for others. And I think the part that was missing for me was that I saw so many people who served in their lives and did not serve themselves. They did not um, give themselves that same effort or give themselves that same love or um, empathy or even compassion because they felt that their only job here was to love others. And I felt like I lived in that kind of way and saw the results of living in that kind of way. And it turned into, unfortunately, a lot of um, sadness in myself and um, lack of confidence in myself and lack of um, really just being able to say no to other people in my life and having boundaries um, in certain avenues. And I think that yoga really showed me that it was okay to be in a way selfish. And I don't want to say that in a negative way because sometimes we hear the word selfish and we think, oh, this person is selfish, they only care about themselves. But when, I, when I'm saying that, I mean like yoga ha allowed me the opportunity to become more aware of my body. It, became, uh, it gave me the opportunity to become more aware of my speech. It helped me become more aware of the way that I moved in the world. And that helped me be more loving towards other people. And that's only the best way I know how to say that. Um, because there was so much lacking in this uh, care of self, even on a physical level, like not brushing my hair or, um, you know, not um, just not doing things for myself that I know that made me feel good and then leading to me feeling more confident in myself um, and not having that confidence really allowed uh, me to be a yes woman and to say yes to so many things that may or may not serve my highest path but is serving unfortunately sometimes the ego of another person because I felt that I was serving them at that moment because I was being a positive light to them I was um, supporting them in whatever it was or I was um, being that that company for this person but that doesn't necessarily mean that I was doing what was best for me or for my purpose here in this life. 
and yoga allowed me to take that time to myself to get away from the words of other people, the um, um, the perspectives, the preaching, the whatever it was, the outside noise that was always there um, that came from somebody else's truth. Uh, yoga gave me the ability to silence all of that and listen to the truth that God, that source, wanted to give to me. And I hold on to that. And that's why I practice yoga all the time because I learned the beauty of following my intuition. I established a new relationship with my intuition and it now guides me in a way that I still in my heart live as a good person, wanting to serve, wanting to be there, but also serving myself and having boundaries and knowing when to leave and knowing when to say no so that I can be better and continue to serve those that I come into contact with later on in life. Um, so yeah, that's my experience. <laughs> Sometimes too, I think it's hard for um, people that come from different religious backgrounds to accept the deities or the types of prayers or ways of worshiping that other religions may um, partake in. And I think that is where a big part of the separation between um, Christian Christianity and the practice of yoga comes in because so many people um, do practice uh, Hindu religion that also practice yoga. And sometimes you'll see classes that offer um, worship to certain deities or they offer mantras where you are giving prayer and thanks and reverence to certain deities. And I think that's where the Christian, the Christian perspective kind of demonizes it or sees it in a, a different light. But at the end of the day, um, source is source and source has even created those deities and connects with those deities as well. And I don't see anything wrong with it. I think that if you resonate with that religion and you truly connect with those beings, then you are opening yourself up to that connection and only you and source will be guided in whatever um, outcomes come from that. But I do also believe that you can make Christian make yoga your own in Christianity and instead of having a mantra towards the deity, your mantra is towards God. Your your prayers are towards God. Your meditations are on verses. You know, you can change up the practice for yourself that aligns with your own truths and I think that can re uh, relay into any religion and that's the beauty of yoga as well because it's not for just one religion although we may emphasize some more than others in that practice it is all a time for you to resonate with your spiritual guides your ancestors your angels your beings whoever it is that you you connect with because only you and source know that i think that's all i have to share for today um, please leave anything in the comments if you resonated with anything i said if you disagreed with anything that i said i would love to hear your viewpoints your perspective get a conversation going um, because that's the only way we're going to really harmonize is really understanding the differences in our perspectives but being able to discuss them respectfully and with open-mindedness and I really look forward to doing that with you so thank you for being here have a wonderful rest of your day